How y'all doing? Now today is a great day, y'all. Not just because I got a brand new tool, but because I finally got a garage. I finally got somewhere to build my workshop. Now I'm telling y'all, I've been working outside in the weather for the last couple years on a tiny four by eight concrete slab outside my townhouse. So right now I'm just thanking God that I finally got a garage. I finally got somewhere to build a workshop. And you know what? I'm gonna need y'all help. I'm gonna need y'all help to let me know some do's and don'ts about creating a workshop, you know, somehow to keep this heat out or keep the cold out in the winter. You know, any suggestions that you have, I'd really appreciate it if you leave them down in the comments for me. Or, you know, if you have a picture of, you know, your workshop or somebody else's workshop that looks really good or, or functions well, you can hit me up on my social media accounts right here. You know what I'm saying? Send me some pictures and help me out, help me build this workshop so it can perform good so I can bring out better projects and better videos for y'all. Now, if y'all like this video or any of my videos, please subscribe. I need more subscribers, y'all. I'm out here working hard, you know what I'm saying, trying to bring good videos to y'all. So if y'all can help me out by hitting that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's bust down this box and see what's inside. All right, let's open this thing up. Now this is the brand new, I wanna say brand new, it's been out for a little bit, but it is the newest Craig uh, pocket hole jig that they have. I mean, this thing looks really, really convenient. It looks a lot easier than, than an old one was. We just kind of had that little tiny thing and we're trying to drag that around, do this and do that. Let's see, how we open this thing up? Yeah, man, it's been a minute. I've been one. I was gonna get the, the other one. It was like a hundred bucks, but this one, man, looks way better. This is the newest one. I'm glad I waited too, cause I'd have had the old one, and then this one when it came out. All right, let's see. What we got a little, little infomercials <laughs> showing me different things. Owner's manual. All right. Let's see what we got here. Pull out this whole thing. It comes already ready to go, huh? Okay. I like that. I would pull that's pulling it down. Let's get that out of here. They give you some little starter screws. That's that's what's up. These screws be costing sometimes too. So hey, any little bit of help. <laughs> I appreciate that. This is the main thing right here. This is the simple thing where you don't gotta, you know, figure out what depth you gotta do it at. You ain't gotta do none of that. You just set the wood in there and bam, just clamp it down. Whoo wee, that looks nice though. Feels good, feels solid. Got a little bit in the back here to kind of put all your little accessories or whatever. All your little depth gauges and whatnot. What's this right here? Let's see what we got right here. Looks like a little dust collector or something. I don't know where we put that at. We'll figure that out. <laughs> all right. I have no idea what any of these things are. <laughs> we gonna see though, we gonna see. Hey, you got a bunch of stuff. All right. All right, this is the little depth gauge, little thing they have, the little collet to put around the drill bit. And this must be the drill bit inside right here. There we go. I needed to know one, another one of these drill bits too because the last one I put on there and I sized it up and did all that but then I was using my impact driver with it and it just got stuck on here and just wouldn't move so for the rest of the time I've been using it I've just been kind of guessing you know where the, where it should line up and then putting some painters tape you know to kind of give me a depth gauge so I definitely needed another one of those and then they got the little the little bits to screw the screws in, the little square bits they have. We got what else we got in here? All right. This is to set up on the side. I think this hooks on there somehow. I don't know how just yet. But yeah, this hooks on there somehow. And then we got another one. Hook on the other side. What's this? this one got some stuff in it. What we got inside? Ooh. Okay. 
Couple little knobs. Looks like is that a replacement knob or we need to put that on there? That looked like a little replacement knob, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. They got a bunch of little stuff. I might have to read some directions. <laughs> they got a lot of little pieces in here. And I think this is to hold it down on your desk or your uh, workbench or whatever. I think it fits right in here. Yeah, and you can clamp it down to whatever kind of desk or workshop bench you got. Okay. I've been excited about this one. I love the Craig, Craig jigs. Man, they work good and they're really, really tight, um, uh, tight joints. Um, I've made a bunch of projects with this or with the old system, and man, it works. It works great. Once you once you get everything lined up right and get those holes in there, man, it holds good. This this desk you know, I'm sitting at right now was was made using this uh, these Craig jigs. So um, I definitely mess with them and uh, I'm hoping this system is a really good system. Let's see what it do though. Got all these little pieces. I might have to pause for a second and read some <laughs> instructions and figure out what I need to do to get this thing going. All right, now we're in the regular directions. We're done with those. Now let me show you what all these little things do. Now these little tiny black parts right here, they clip on the side. Right here, there's a little cavity right there for them to kind of pop into. Do that on both sides. You just quickly pop in there. And then that is how you hook these little guys up right here. Pop that in. Same thing on this side. Pop that in. And these actually have little drawers in them too, which I like. The little stuff, you know, you can put all your stuff up in them and all. So I really think that's a convenient thing. That's a nice little extra touch. And then it also gives you uh, somewhere to have your wood set so it's nice and even. And also they kind of flip up. And then they got these little guys on the side here where you can just fold them down and then this you know, kind of folds up and you can set this away. And I think most of it, all of this will fit inside of it. So I think that's, that's really convenient. Making Craig Jig look bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Let's clip that back in there right. There we go, there we go, this one there, this one there. All right, and this little part came in like three parts or whatever, you gotta put it together. And this is basically just like a stop block for, for your wood. If you're repeating cuts or you're repeating, you know, these holes or whatever, you can set this up how you want it on either side and then just clamp it down. The only thing that kind of was weird is this little dust collection. I figured out where it fits. That's fine and everything like that fits in there good. But the problem is, is that this thing, I mean, who's, you know, dust collector is going to be this tiny. And this is supposed to be an extender for it. But the problem is, is even when you put it to its full seated spot, you know, it's still like a little bit of room in the middle of here, you know. So there's still room for you know, air or dust or, you know, whatever to get into it. So that's a little bit of design flaw, I think. And, you know, to bypass that or whatnot, or maybe help it out, I think I could just get like a little hose clamp, <clears throat> clamp that down to there, and then, you know, that'd be good and secure on there. So it ain't horrible, but, you know, a little bit of design flaw. So that's that, and this, like I said, hooks onto there so you can hook it onto your table so it's nice and secure. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Hook this to this table, get some wood, and try this thing out. So let's move on to that. All right, now we got everything there. We got everything clamped down to the table so it's nice and secure. And we have the stop block set up here. Put that on there so you can make repeated cuts at the same size. Let's say we wanted it right there. Bam, we got your piece right here. Lift that up, you good to go. Got them in there good. That's pretty good, I like that. I also like that you can just switch between different woods and you don't have to even think about where to put the depth gauge at or whatever. The only problem is, is, is that you have to change this little collet right here to go up to be, be you know, whatever kind of depth you're, you're working with. If I use the wrong one, then 
the hole ain't going to be at the right spot. So that's a little bit inconvenient, but hey, overall, this thing is, I'm liking it so far. So I'm going to see how fast I can do three different um, sets of holes, you know, two and two or something like that. Uh, with this brand new, this brand new Craig jig, and then with this old school one that I've been working with for a couple years now. Start the clock now. Boom. Now that was quick. <laughs> Got them all in there nice and quick. Now let's try it with this. There we go. Man, now, now you can even see the holes don't even look as good. Look at the holes compared to up here. This is all jagged and looking all raggedy and these is looking nice. All right, now we just tested this thing out. And first impression, this thing is miles ahead of my old system. That little hold and clamp thing is so inconvenient. Once you clamp everything down and get it all dialed in, then it's still inconvenient. It's always sitting there kind of teeter-tottering or, you know, kind of wanting to move out of the way. Also, with the old system, it has like a little feet on it to hold to the other side of the board. So you make sure you get, you know, straight, straight drills or whatever. But sometimes it kind of comes off a little bit and it'll be a little bit off or whatever. So with this system, it keeps everything flat and you clamp it down and you don't even got to think about it. You're just ready to go. Drill some more holes, boom, 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 boom. That's definitely a big, a big up on this one. I also like these little boxes that they have, kind of keep some stuff in, and then you can keep all your bits and everything right here. That's really convenient. I do like that. Thing that I didn't like though is that these side boxes don't screw into there or whatever, so you can easily just it comes out, you know, very, very easily on there. Now once you're in there, it's cool and it works good as a little platform to hold your wood. Um, so that's cool. It wasn't too bad, but I didn't like it. Also, right here, this little hole right here, all the little wood shavings and everything kind of collects up in there. So if you're not using that that dust collector, it kind of builds up in there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're you know drilling a bunch of holes, this thing is gonna get kind of clogged up, and you're gonna have to you know put something in there to kind of get it out or blow it out or something. So that's a little bit inconvenience, but. Overall, this system is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I have really got, you know, too many bad things to say about it so far. So I definitely would recommend to anybody that's doing woodworking projects to go get this right now. If you want to go get this, there'll be a link in the description. So check that out. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, appreciate it.